Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm sharing with you guys my design team project for Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Um, and I'll also be um, featuring J9 Scraps um, ephemera pieces. Um, and she's also on Etsy. I will be posting all the links below for you guys to check out what I've used. Um, but I'm sharing the uh, mini journal that I made. I am obsessed with these right now. I've seen a lot of people currently making minis and so of course I just you know just seeing all the little pieces that go in um, I decided to do that. For this um, soft cover journal I used one of the um, 6x9 envelopes and uh, for the front and back covers actually it is from Ephemeris Vintage Garden but I've used the um, Wings for Jonathan kit. I absolutely adore that kit. It is for a good cause uh, portions of that kit um, she's donating to a great cause so check it out I will put all the links below as I said but look how gorgeous that is right the butterflies anyways I just I had to use it I did um, vintage the sides a little bit with uh, Tim Holtz inks and um, yes let me just show you inside the journal I had um, wrapped with the sorry silk ribbon and this is from J9 scraps this color, I believe, is the um, gold color. She also carries it cream and red, I believe. So let me show you inside. I had so much fun with this mini. Um, I really, really love it. I think the um, front here looks like it's the start of a book, so I just I love that image. This is one of the ephemera pieces from the kit. This is the um, glossing envelope from J9 Scraps. And then also the um, library book title request card is also from J9 Scraps. And then um, what I did for the pieces um, in the journal is I had to resize them and cut things up. So I had lots of little ephemera pieces left over, which I really love. And so of course I'm just using them for extra journaling spaces in there. The inside of the cover is also a part of the kit from the Wings for Jonathan. I really love how that goes together, so that's why I used it with this one. This is the back um, the back pages, the printout, the lines from um, EVG as well. And this is the um, time cards from J9 Scraps. So what I did is I just folded it over so it kind of makes a little tag spots there. I used lots of coffee stain pages as well as I was trying uh, something different in here and I used some of the uh, green um, colors to stain some of the pages because of course it's whimsy and botany and it's nature themed so I thought it went really well. This is another piece there. As you can see it's so different with each page and it looks really nice. Uh, to keep with my repurposing of items, I used envelopes as pages as well, and I just cut them up to fit. And I kept the stamps for them. Uh, I just thought it almost makes it look like I did some collaging. This is part of EVG's kit. And of course, you can write on the pages. This is just perfect for that. This is another ephemera piece. And the backs of the pages, I have used EVG's um, coffee staining I think it's a freebie on her blog there. And these are more journaling pieces from the kit. Glassy bag. This is the top of a layaway tag from J9 Scraps piece there. This is just a scrapbooking piece that I had that went with the kit. And this is part of the um, EVG kit that I'm using. I also did some um, ribbons and trims and stuff. I'm really liking um, seeing that and also just how it feels on the pages. I like having the paper and the fabric. It's just a nice feeling and it also reminds me when my kids were little. They used to have these fabric books that um, had all these tabs on them and I thought it was so cool. So anyways, it just reminds me of that. And more of the repurposed pieces. This is part of the kit and I just added it to it as well. More of the ephemera pieces from EVG. And if you saw my other video, um, I did a um, traveler's notebook with the kit. I just absolutely adore it as well. I believe a lot of people are really liking that, the way that one turned out. 
and this kit is for a um, planner slash traveler's notebook but I'm using it differently here um, on this page I used a little bit of the sorry silk ribbon in gold and then I used the Garmin pin also from J9 scraps this one is a, a antique brass I don't know if you guys can see it and then I had a little bird that I attached to that with some string this is the other side of that ribbon and then here is more ephemera pieces and this envelope is J9 scraps these tiny little pieces are from the kit. Just adore it. And this is the away piece from J9 Scraps. This is a fabric pocket that I did in the back of that book page. Just love that finish. And then this is the middle. J9 Scraps, I used one of the blank tickets and I just added that to it with some of the um, cream, sorry, silk ribbon. Look at these images. Oh, it's just it's so fun to work with this again I just I really enjoyed it this says so kindness this page here has a bit of the sorry silk ribbon again and more of the ephemera pieces and if you can see the backs again these are the pieces that were left over from the parts that I was using more of the repurposed envelope and this is just another ephemera piece with the other side of that and again, I did the coffee staining and um, just plain pieces of um, pages and kit because I really like the contrast. I really enjoy switching from, you know, when you write on coffee stained pieces and then just regular paper pieces. It just, it's such a nice difference to use. I did a little bit of a, a collage of pieces on these pages and this paper clip comes right off with the um, extra piece from what I used for the back um, of the um, journal here for this part of the pages here. This is ephemera piece from the kit. And then this is a guest check from J9 Scraps and more of VBG's ephemera. Glassine bag on this end also has more ephemera pieces. And then here, just used a little bit of trim. Again, left the envelope pieces alone when I could find something on them. This one flips out. And I like the imprint of the doily on that. And then this is the back of that time card that I showed you guys earlier. And that just comes right off as well. More ephemera pieces. And then the back of this page is also that printout. And then I left this open so you could tuck more things in. So that's it everyone. This is my mini. I absolutely love it. I love holding it. It's uh, just a little over, I think it's almost six and then four and, and half because it's that envelope as I said folded. So thank you for joining me. I'll put all the links below. If you have any questions, um, just leave them below. Thanks for stopping by and I'll share with you guys some more projects that I'm working on soon. Bye.